Hello again. Now, after we have finished creating our ontology and placing it online, what we are going to do is we're going to uh, see how we can download and start uh, the uh, Apache's uh, Jenna Forsaker server. After that, we'll learn how to uh, use it to run some Sparkle queries on our ontology. Now, to download the server, the Jenna Forsaker server, we need to go to the Apache website, which is there, jenna.apache.org slash download slash, uh, slash index.cgi and then we go down to Jenna Forsaker, Jenna Forsaker uh, and then we download either the tar file or the zip file right click, save link as, I'm going to place it on my home directory I already have it so there's no need for me to download again but you can go ahead and do that so I'm going to cancel this and then go to my home folder and then unzip it unzip uh, Jenna, you can see you just unzip it and go there cd into there and you can see these are the files so there's no need for us to do any other tricks or installations and stuff everything is there the only thing we need to do is to run the server which is used uh, uh, this script over here for Seeker server so you run the script uh, with option update in case we want to update the data set and then we want to use uh, minus minus mem slash ds what that does is that will allow us to create a, 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 a data set called ds in memory so we run it and we can see that it's telling us now we have a data set in memory it's called ds and the forsaken server is running on port 3030 so what we can do now we can, we can go now back to our web browser and go to localhost and then port 3030 and that's what it should look like now uh, the Forsaker server is running and as we said we next time we'll learn how to load the data set and then uh, run some Sparkle queries and then use the one that we, we placed online thanks for watching and I'll see you next time